Let's do this. Everybody, it is good to see you and see everyone here on what is another Tuesday for what is another review. Guys, I am super excited to get into this review because, guys, this review, I found a good one. I, I think I really found a good one here. Um, this in particular is the Mountain Man Soap by a company you may not have heard of, but that's okay. We'll talk about it a little bit. And that is the Ashley Marie Soap Company. Now, for those who don't know, Ashley Marie... She is a very passionate soap artesian man who has a massive following on Instagram. I think like over 100,000 followers actually. So she basically was, I guess, a celebrity in the soap artesian world, right? I mean, I guess as close as you can get to that, but a massive following. She always posts in these just gorgeous videos of her making her little soaps and like doing her thing, right? <laughs> it's pretty impressive, it's really cool to see. And uh, I've been following for a while and I just basically figured like, hey, I'm, I'm gonna check out and see what you're all about. And that transitions us to our first part of our video. And that's where we talk about the packaging and the soap itself, right? So let's get into that. And when we look at the packaging for the Mount Man, we tell it has a very traditional belly band, cigar style type of packaging, real nice brown paper. But there was a certain quality to the paper. It wasn't like a construction paper. Like it had a quality to it. It's kind of hard to explain. It's not, it wasn't like photo paper, but uh, I don't know. It, it, it felt, it felt nicer. I don't know. Hard to explain, but packaging overall had a very minimalistic vibe to it overall. I really like a little logo and I also like uh, what supposed to, I guess supposed to be <laughs> what a mountain man <laughs> uh, with a little mustache, a little beard. He's a very bougie looking mountain man, a little fancy mountain man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He fancy out there. <laughs> And when we had the opportunity to look at her so we could tell that a very deep, dark brown color, looked really cool, clay-like, almost earthy, right? A little mud in there. Um, but real fancy. I love the way the soap looked. It had a real fancy look to it. Oh, good looking soap, right? I, I, lo I love when you get the, the soap that uh, you got like the little designs on the top and you do a little swirl. Look like a little haircut, a little comb over on it. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Don't, don't, don't quote me on that. But um, it looked like a little comb over. This looks really nice, real fancy. I love it because you could see the the passion, the the artsmanship. But with that being said, let's move on to the next part of the video where we're gonna take a closer look at the ingredients of our mountain man. So, all right, guys, moving on to our ingredients section of our video. Let's go ahead and post those ingredients for you all to check them out. And as you can tell, we don't have a overwhelming amount of ingredients, but we have the right ingredients, right? Super important. As you can tell right away, you have a very nice balance of our fatty oils, right? We have that olive, we got that coconut action. We also got that castor oil, and we also even have that avocado oil. I always get super excited when I see avocado oil because, man, avocado oil does always does so well in my skin. <clears throat> now, we also got that shea butter. Always good to see our shea butter for moisturizing powers. And we also have a little kaolin clay. We even got a little French red clay, right? Bonjour. And last but not least, we have a cedar wood essential oil blend. Now I did go check on our website to go see what that was all about. And apparently she uses a little bit of truly and a little cinnamon action in there. Now we're gonna kind of see in the next section how that plays out in terms of the scent. And when we move on to the next section where we do our sniff test. So let's move right along. All right, guys, I gotta get something off my chest real quick because we review a ton of Mountain Man soaps on the channel. Seems like every company or every other company has a Mountain Man soap. And I just gotta say, man, who knew? Who knew that these men from the mountains were so fresh and clean, right? I mean, I'm over here thinking they're roughing and toughing, battling Mother Nature, wrestling bears. You know, kicking chickens, right? No, 
these guys are dancing in the flower fields, you know, throwing petals everywhere, living the life looking like the elves from the Lord of the Rings. Who would have known, right? Who would have known? Not this guy. But all seriousness though, the Mountain Man soap here, we have a basic list, essentially a blended cedar wood soap. Now, we come across a lot of cedar wood on this channel. It's a very popular scent amongst men's soaps, but I think what makes this one a little different in my experience with it is that it has a certain brightness and vibrance to it that makes it pretty unique. I don't come across that very often. Um, it, I think that must be the patchouli, maybe even a little bit of that cinnamon. I don't really pick up the cinnamon, honestly. Um, it might be just there to add a little something, a little edge to the scent overall. And something I also noticed about the soap that it wasn't necessarily uh, on the subtle side, it's a little bit stronger. Uh, it's definitely one of those where it's, uh, it's got some punch to it for sure. Um, I tell you what though, man, this soap here, I would definitely uh, travel with, right? What I would probably do is take it cut in half or uh, maybe about a quarter. A little bit more, a little less, give or take, uh, depending how long I was going for. But uh, I would bring that with me if I was hiking or anything like that. It just has that nice of a scent. It has something, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it definitely has an element to where like it picks you up. It makes you want to get up and do stuff. It's a great morning soap, wonderful morning soap. But um, it almost has like a, a, like a citrus effect to it, like almost like a lemon or a lemongrass somewhere in there. I don't know if she does or not, but it it really does feel like it has some uh, some type of citrus in it. You'd almost want to say it's a cedar citrus soap, which is an amazing combination, by the way. Tried and true is a classic because it's just one of the best combos ever. But overall, man, Mountain Man smells amazing. Not necessarily what I was expecting, but that's not a bad thing, you know? Usually the Mountain Man soaps are very uh, grounded, earthy, outdoorsy, right? But this one's a little bit, takes a different route, makes it more uh, more alive, if you will. Hopefully it gives you a little bit better idea what this soap smells like. Let's move on to the next part of the video where we do a little lava test and bring it back and we'll do some cooling thoughts. from the lather test as you can tell we have a very nice lather here in fact i actually want to go a little further with the lather and say this is actually one of the most impressive lathers i've had on this channel in quite some time actually um i say that because not only did it initially make a really nice lather i found the lather lasted the entire duration of my shower which was really, really impressive. And it just kind of stuck out to me. So I did want to bring that to your attention. But all right, guys, let's start wrapping up this video. I want to say this. First and foremost, Ashley Marie soaps will come at five ounces. They will cost you $8.50, right? So very good price there. Good, nice weight. Market price, nothing crazy or anything like that. Pretty standard there. Now, there really are two words that come to mind during my entire time reviewing this soap is passion and quality, right? From the, from the packaging, the soap, the ingredients, the scent, you know, the overall presentation, even the website, right? Everything just felt so intentional. And everything had a certain level of quality to it that you could just tell and feel that it was crafted by someone who was incredibly skilled, right? Who's truly passionate about what they do. And 
it was really neat to feel. You could really need to see and you could you could feel it right um those are the two things that come to mind everything just felt of that everything checks off and even on the performance end of the soap the soap left my skin feeling moisturized really soft really nice i it was even gentle enough i was even able to use it on my face and it just felt overall really impressive and like i said really high quality um, very impressive for me this is an easy strong recommendation I uh, have no problem recommending this, especially if you like cedar. If you like cedar, things like that, this is, I definitely encourage you to check this one out for sure. In my opinion, this is actually one of the, overall, one of the best soaps we reviewed on this channel. Just overall, when you look at everything together, it's actually, yeah, this is actually one of the better soaps we reviewed on this channel. Now, obviously, if you don't like cedar, this probably won't get the mountain man. <laughs> um, but she does have a dedicated line for men. So if you, there's something else you might want to check out, I encourage you to do that. And with that, my friends, that pretty much wraps up this review. I hope you got something out of it. I hope you were able to take something away and kind of shows you a new company you may not have heard of. And uh, hopefully you consider actually buying one or two. If you do, let me know in the comments below. But as always, my friends, this is Natural Soul Man with another review. I'll see you guys next Tuesday with another review. Till then, guys, you take care, be safe, and as always, stay natural, my friends.